Today in this video, we are going to learn that MY2N relay we use, how to connect this MY2N type relay to a sensor. When a target comes in front of the sensor, the fan starts and when the target is removed, fan goes into off condition. I am going to explain this connection using a proper circuit diagram. It means you are going to learn a lot from this video. So watch this video till the end. So let's start the video. The concept of this video is that this fan we have here, we have to run this fan through this sensor. We cannot directly connect this sensor to the fan. So I have used a relay in the middle. This relay is known as glass relay and this relay is also called a MY2N relay. If you look at the symbol of the MY2N relay, then you can see here is the symbol. If we understand this symbol, then we can easily do connection of this type of relay. As you can see, there is a terminal number 13 and 14 in this symbol. There is a symbol in the middle here which is of coil. To operate this relay, we have to provide power supply to 13 and 14 number terminal. It means terminal number 13 and 14 is the coil terminal. After this, the terminal number 9 and 12 here are common terminal. Now you can see there is a mechanical switch in this relay. This mechanical switch keeps moving in this and this direction. As you can see right now this switch is connected to the terminal number 1. Similarly, the terminal number 12 which is common terminal is connected to the terminal number 4. This means that the terminal number 1 and 4 are NC contact. After this the terminal number 5 and 8 are in open condition. This means that the terminal number 5 and 8 are ANO contact. So in the MY2N relay, we get 2 ANO contacts and 2 NC contacts. If you have a MY3N relay, you will get 3 ANO contacts and 3 NC contacts in this condition. Now tell me in comment section, if you have a MY4N relay, then how many ANO and NC contacts are there in that relay? We have understood about the terminal of this relay. Now we have to operate this relay through this sensor. To operate this relay through the sensor, then we have to keep one thing in mind that the operating voltage of the relay and the sensor should be same. The voltage provided to operate the relay and the voltage provided to operate the sensor should be same. Currently I am using a proximity sensor which will work on the AC power supply. The contact of this sensor is NO. This is the specification of this sensor. Now let's understand the connection. For connection, I have a circuit diagram here. In this circuit diagram, you can see I have a MCB. The power supply from this MCB will be connected to this sensor and with this fan. First of all, we will do connection of this relay. To operate this relay, what we will do to this two wire sensor, we will give the phase supply directly. We will take a wire from the output of the sensor and provide power supply to the coil of the relay. So what we have to do in this sensor here, we have to provide incoming power supply to the brown wire of the sensor. We will take this wire and we will connect it to the phase terminal of the MCB. After connecting this wire, take other end of this wire like this blue wire. We will take this wire and relay here. We will connect it to the 13 number terminal of this relay. Now in this circuit diagram, it is told we will provide neutral power supply directly to the relay. We will take the black wire and connect it to the neutral terminal of the MCB. We will take other end of this wire and connect it to the 14 number terminal of the relay. Now if we look in this circuit diagram, relay here, to turn on and off this relay through sensor, we did the whole connection. If I start the MCB now and try to operate this relay through the sensor, then relay will be turned on. As you can see here, I have turned on the MCB. After turning on the MCB, this sensor here, I take a target in front of this sensor. My relay is on. After releasing this, the relay is off. When target going in front of the sensor, the relay is on. After removing this, the relay is off. Okay, so now our relay has started operating through the sensor. Now what we have to do is, through this relay, we have to do connection of this fan to turn it on and off. To connect the fan, what we have to do, this relay here, through the NO contact of this relay, we have to provide power supply to this fan. So we will provide power supply to this fan through the NO contact of this relay. I am using a small loop of wire here. I will connect this loop to the phase supply connected here. And I will connect the other end of this loop to the ANO contact of the relay. We have provided phase supply to the common terminal of this relay. Now ANO contact of this relay, ANO contact of this relay is here. We will connect the wire of this fan to the ANO contact of this relay. I will simply connect the wire here like this. You can see in the circuit diagram, we can provide neutral power supply to this fan directly. For now, relay which I used here 
there are two anno contacts in this relay. I have used one anno contact to provide phase supply to this fan. Now I will use the second anno contact to provide neutral power supply to this fan. I am using a small loop of wire here. I will connect this loop to the neutral power supply already connected here. I will connect the other end of this loop to the common terminal of this relay. You can see the connection here. Now I will use the second anno contact to provide neutral power supply to this fan. Now let's do connection of this indication lamp. We will connect the indication lamp by using the anno contact of the relay. This indication lamp will be used to turn on. In the same way, NC contact of relay here. Through this contact, we will do connection of off indication lamp. So let's connect both the indication lamps. So this indication lamp here, I have connected three wires with this indication lamp. How to connect these three wires? Let's understand. This purple color wire here, I have connected this wire to provide phase supply to green indication lamp. I have connected the white wire here to provide phase supply to the red indication lamp. After this, I have connected the gray wire to provide neutral power supply to both the indication lamps. Here, I have looped one wire from here to provide neutral power supply to this indication lamp also. Now, we will take all three wires and I will connect the anno contact of the relay to the on indication lamp and I will connect the NC contact of the relay to the off indication lamp. So, I am doing the connections. This purple color wire here is for green indication lamp that is of on indication lamp. I will connect this wire with the anno contact here. I will connect the white wire to the NC contact of the relay. Now this last wire here, this will be used to provide neutral power supply to these two indication lamps. So bring this and neutral power supply directly connected here with this only connect this wire. So that through this wire, neutral power supply goes directly. So I have done the wiring of this starter according to the circuit diagram. As soon as I turn on the MCB, the off indication lamp starts glowing. Now what I will do, I will take a target in front of the sensor. The fan is turned on and along with this, on indication lamp is glowing. On removing this, the fan turned off and the off indication lamp is glowing. You can see fan on, fan turned off, on, off. As you can see, the whole starter is working properly. I hope you learned something new through this video. If you learned something new, then do like and comment on my video. Share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching this video.